Hello, my name is Anne and I'm a student for the master's degree in science of midwifery. Guess what? Every day, all around the world, midwives and obstetricians perform a procedure routinely, despite that there is no evidence for its benefit. Au contraire, a lot of evidence is available that proves its potential harm. This procedure replaced behavior that worked out for thousands of years in 1913 and spread all around the world and became common practice. What I'm talking about is immediate clamping of the umbilical cord. If we would stop immediate clamping, we, and of course especially the babies, would benefit from the ongoing transfer of oxygen and rich blood from the mother to the child, which would decrease the risk of birth asphyxia, a very severe event in childbirth that can lead to cerebral palsy. We all need to understand that the blood retained in the placenta at birth makes up one-third of the total blood volume of the baby. It belongs to the baby and should not simply be thrown away. It is so valuable. It is rich in red blood cells and hence iron and consists of something very precious, stem cells. Actually, if you implement this change into your practice, it will even save you time that you can invest to support bonding, for example. It is so easy. When the baby is born, make sure that mom can pick it up or a sister with the same. You do, do not need to take a certain level into account above which the child should not be raised. The total amount of blood infused into the baby will stay the same, just the time span until transfusion is completed might vary. The additional blood plasma that the baby gets will soon be lost to circulation in the child and will leave high red cell mass, precious red blood cells that transport lots and lots of oxygen to the brain and all the organs of the baby. A few hours after delivery, it is broken down and stored as iron, so iron levels are higher for four to six months. So we would decrease the worldwide problem of iron deficiency anemia at the same moment. I know what comes to your mind now. What about jaundice? The Cochrane organization stated on an increased risk of same, but they did build their knowledge on one unpublished trial that has been criticized for the pediatricians not being blinded to cord management and for not predefining levels of bilirubin requiring treatment. A large RCT by Anderson et al. has been published after this review and has shown no impact on the need for phototherapy and actually there were fewer babies requiring phototherapy when the cord was not clamped immediately. Our duty as medical professionals is first and foremost do no harm. The evidence for immediate cord clamping is so weak, if it would be a medication, it would be withdrawn immediately. Consider how we easily can change the world together. Improve the health of millions of children, term-born as well as preterm ones, vaginal deliveries as well as cesareans. We simply have to wait. At least 90 seconds, but optimally, we just wait till the cord has stopped pulsating on its own and the placenta has finished its job to provide the baby with its own oxygen-enriched blood full of iron and stem cells. Are you in to change the world? Thanks for watching.